Skylar Lovelace is already a mom of two, but this time around, the stresses of pregnancy are much different. But then, like I was saying, I went into the appointment and it was just packed, you know, even with people distancing and masks and everything like that. I completely, I, my heart just sunk. Lovelace's family has done everything they can to limit exposure, but with crowded waiting rooms at the doctor's office and her other children possibly going back to school, uncertainty looms. If I get this, can the baby get it? Because on top of that, being pregnant, you are so limited to the medication you can take. So being that they don't know what, if, and when medication will help, it, it, it's just scary. In San Antonio, Methodist Hospital has a dedicated unit in its NICU for babies born to mothers with the virus. As soon as the baby is born, they do bring them right to us outside of the door. So it's just a very brief moment that the mom might get a glimpse. Previous research from Wuhan, China showed the virus isn't typically transmitted from mother to child. But now a new study from Italy suggests a pregnant woman with the coronavirus might spread it to her fetus. They found the virus's genetic material and some antibodies in one umbilical cord blood sample, two vaginal swabs, and one breast milk sample. Dr. Kaylin Silverberg says we should be concerned, but don't sound the alarm just yet. In this study, a couple of the babies did get infected with COVID. They all did fine, no, no issues, no problems, okay? But still, it suggests that there's still information that we don't know. He says it will be years before we definitively know how it could impact the child long term. It may be four, five, six years from now before we make sure that these babies don't have developmental delay or they don't have an increased risk of autism or speech delay. Until then, he urges moms to continue following current guidelines for safe delivery. In Austin, Jennifer Sanders, KXAN News. The study from Italy researched 31 women with COVID-19. Doctors say it is just too early to make different guidelines or change the way they care for pregnant women. Even though couples are spending more time at home during the pandemic, a baby boom is actually looking unlikely. Research published in March by the Institute for Family Studies found catastrophic events led to a decline in birth rates. That was the case in the aftermath of Hurricanes Maria and Katrina in the United States and the 2015 Ebola outbreak in Africa. Experts think births can increase in less severe situations. Research in 2007 from the University of Texas and Johns Hopkins University found minor storms that caused like power outages slightly boosted the birth rate, but severe storms that caused death and destruction had a negative effect.